Hey everyone, Nescos here. This is the third devlog of the still unnamed game I'm developing in Godot. So last devlog, I told you guys that I'd follow the RPG tutorial a bit more, and I did just that, and I added some smaller things. As some of you have noticed, I actually changed the way the character looks and set up some new animations. Um, this is the new style of the game, because the last character looked a bit whack, and as a user by the name of OneEgg42 pointed out, he had no legs, and that's... That's just impossible. And in my opinion, he also looked too much like Steve from Minecraft, so that's why I changed the way he looks. Also, I added some state control to the game. If I press 1, my state actually changes to an equipped state, and the arm of the character sort of goes up and stays up. This is going to be the state that the player needs to be in for any action the player does, like attacking, eating, mining, etc. Also, if you notice, me clicking causes an action to be done, and this action only triggers if the player is in the equip state. So if I haven't pressed 1, or I'm just running, uh, the action won't trigger. And also, I actually run faster if I'm not in the equipped state. And the plan is to have the player hold items, which are all separate scenes, and then clicking will cause that item to move in some way and then this action animation will trigger. Maybe not for all items, like food, probably not, but for fighting slash mining items, that should be good. Also, the item itself will move in some way, like an animation for the item. And additionally, to make items easier to make, my plan is for each item to have some set variables every item has. For example, we have the attack, tree mining, or mining and food variables. And then obviously, for like a food item, we can set all the variables to zero, except for the food variable, so it should be easy to make new items. I hope Godot has an equivalent to scriptable objects in Unity. I'm not too sure, but we will see. For now though, I'm going to work on the tree being cut down a bit and just plan out how all of the systems will go together. Before I do that actually, I want to show you a new animation real quick. So this is for the action, and with this new animation, I actually changed my mind regarding the purpose of the action animation, and I'll just use it for the punching action. Anyway, so I've been doing some work on setting up cutting down the trees, and I'm right in the middle of the process, and what I have right now is a kind of cool effect. Definitely could be a simple game in itself, but anyways, let's get this cutting the tree down stuff done. Right now I'm drawing the actual health bar for the trees. Now this health bar needs to be made reusable so I can apply it to mobs and uh, other ores. And I'll try to do just that, and after some coding, it is done. I definitely will make the health bar less intrusive later. This feels way too much in your face, but overall it is decent as again, it's pretty reusable. And the next plan is to add items, which I honestly have no clue how to approach since reusability is even more important with items since we don't want to take a lot of time to make new items. Well, regardless, for now I'm going to sleep and we can focus on items tomorrow. Alright, so stay tuned and I think we'll give the item slash inventory system a try. Not sure how it'll go yet though. So after some work, I have the inventory logic mostly done, and the inventory is actually saved in the user file, so that's perfect. What it is, is a sim simple array of like size 25, and then the inventory also gets some class with some useful methods, like a method to get all the items, a method to set all the items, and then after the game starts, we just uh, get all the items and we render them on our screen. What I don't have right now is the ability to drag items around, and that's definitely something that should be a thing. I'll probably add that in the next devlog. For now though, I want to set up items being dropped from the tree, and you being able to pick up that specific item. Alright, well after some more coding, it is done. Now you can pick up an item, and with that we have a basic inventory system done. And right now it's super scuffed, as you can't really do anything with the items, and the items should probably play some kind of animation when being picked up. Uh, but overall it is a good system. The items are super reusable and it's incredibly easy to add more items. I noticed however that there's an issue of the player being able to break the tree insanely quickly so we will need to put a timer on that for the next devlog so there's a timeout for the action. And the next devlog will also make the inventory system way better and maybe even add the tool system which should be interesting and cool but also hard so I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that but maybe. Uh, we might just add some world generation as well. Overall, the game is going a lot nicely and I'm excited to show you guys more things that I add to it. 